No. That obstinate secretary, standing in the way, while you rush off to slay the Hydrian for your poor sister's sake. I know the price of the Covenant. Patient alone is a foreign sensation. Then to think this is where we were headed to begin with. They've been through a lot, and there's still more to come. So, next on the docket is Leviathan. What sort of deity are we dealing with? A serpent said to embody the roar and rage of the sea. We'll have to see for ourselves. Can't let Lady Luna Freya do all the heavy lifting. You must be so psyched to see her. Luna? Yeah. Well, we need to make sure she's all right before anything else. Indeed. Her well-being is top priority. Don't like this going down on Imperial turf. You think Lady Lunafreya's in danger there? The Empire did invade Lucis for the ring. I have no faith their ruthless ambitions will stop short of harming the Oracle. Without the ring? gonna give a speech? Sounds like it. Lord knows. This world could use some wisdom. Won't be much longer now, Noct. Yeah. Does this vessel have an entry permit? Yeah. Uh. Entry permit? Relax. I got one. Here. That's as old as they get. Seems in order. You may pass. Prepared in advance. Could say that. Thirty odd years ago. That's what the guy meant by old. Lucky us, huh? That could have ended badly.
What's next? Immigration? What do you mean? There's still more? Sir, what is the purpose of your visit? Purpose, uh... Ignis, a little help? <sighs> Utterly hopeless. We are scholars of the Conry Arts, and we've come to study the renowned cuisine of your fair nation. Is that so? I wish you an enlightening stay. Another one you owe me. You want to check Westcombe's place out? Yeah, let's all go to Mago. Perhaps we'll even make it in time for tea. And we'd better start looking now. It's a photographer's dream. What a city. There's supposed to be a real good photo spot around here. Let's check it out. Yeah, let's go! <laughs> that Aranea, she's a little different. Certainly doesn't fit the Imperial Army profile. Take a look at this. What about it? I gotta say, Aranea really impressed me today. With her outfit? Well, yeah, that too. It's just... I always had this impression that the Empire was filled with nothing but jerks. She certainly doesn't fit the mold. Really makes you wonder. You think she was okay with the raid on the Citadel? Ask her yourself. Hey, Noct! You see that? What about it? Wonder, is she really gonna leave the army? You seem quite smitten with her. Which one is it? One is what? Her or Cindy? RNA or Cindy? Oh, wow. Okay, uh, whew, uh, let me think about this for a sec. I've no doubt both of them can wait.
The war is won, yet they continue harvesting for soldiers. Now that you mention it, that does seem like overkill. So what next? Gentlemen, it has been a pleasure. Have a look at this, Noct. What about it? Hello, boys. Feel free to browse at your leisure. Thank you very much. <gasps> They're extending the exhibit for Lady Lunafreya's wedding dress! <gasps> the Vivian Westwood? But wasn't that a memorial for her passing? Well, now it's a memorial for her safe... Oh, doubtless. Want to check it out? That's a pr Who says we can't? True enough. Now I see why people flock from far and wide to the walls of water. Have a look at this, Noct. What about it? Splendid. Where are we off to? Is it evening already? Time flies when you're having fun. Fantastic. Call when you need a ride back. Gentlemen, it has been a pleasure. Welcome to Accordo, lads. Sid mentioned you'd be dropping in. What's Gamarma that you've gathered? So this is your maiden visit. Enjoying it so far? You doubtless have many questions, so ask away. This country is a... 
Oh, oh you're wary. Just be aware. We'll bear that in mind. It's admit, and they would. See, see lots of nifs around here. We do. Theirs is a fam. Oh, the bravest. So soon, the imp. You really think Luna will make an address? If every where and the meat that's it. Has anything changed with Leviathan? For now, it. In pre uh, this spec. Well, thanks. Oh, my dear Camellia, it's been a while. I heard about your distinguished guests. Ah. Gentlemen, I won't waste your time. My name is Camellia Clostra. First secretary of the Accordo Protectorate. You should know. And. What? Yet I. If you've a mind to talk, come to my estate. She can be oblique at the best of times. Oh, okay. At any rate, you must be weary from your journey. Uh, might I suggest you see- Yeah, I think we'll do just that. What should I buy? So, care to take a cruise? Fantastic! Call when you need a ride back. Huh. The Vivian Westwood store should be up these stairs. It's farther than I thought. Seems everyone is making for the shop. a future uncertain, yet sure is the astral memory, wherein the king may walk. Come on, let's go see the dress. Well, guess we need to go talk to Camellia. Yeah, like we have any other option. There's no telling how events will unfold. Let us prepare before making our way. Yeah, she can sit tight a while. This way to the dress? Yep, same street as the estate. Seems we're on the right track. Thank you for coming. No sweat. First things first. Thanks for coming to greet us in person. It's the least I could do for a king. Westcombe didn't extend me an invitation. 
so I decided to extend my own. Though circumstances have changed, both the King and the Oracle are finally in Altitia. You said that you have Luna in your care. I want to see her now. So hasty. Surely you can spare a moment to talk. Now let me ask some questions of my own. Why does the Oracle seek to awaken the Hydrian? She just wants to talk with Leviathan. She would wake a slumbering goddess just to have a chat? Somehow I doubt the Tide Mother will take kindly to being roused on a mortal whim. Let me be frank. The potential chaos worries me. You know better than most what took place in Lucis with Archeon. Tell me, what happened? I met Titan, and he gave me his power. Just like the legends, though the Empire doesn't like the way the story goes. Even as we speak, they mobilize their forces. It seems there's no avoiding chaos. It will most likely come to war. However, I don't care to host a battle on my soil. The gods and the Empire be damned. It would be a disaster if a battle took place in the city. Indeed, we must be prepared to evacuate our citizens. No doubt about it. We're in the midst of making plans, and it was to discuss your involvement in them that I called you here. Without further ado, let us talk terms. If you wish to hold the right, you must ensure my citizens' safety and aid in their evacuation. All right. I'll do as you ask. I'm pleased to hear it. As long as the people's safety is assured, I have no qualms with your right. And that is not all. Once the right has begun, I will not be accountable for what follows. You are on your own. Not a problem. We know how to take care of ourselves. Thank you. I'm sorry we cannot do more. But as I'm sure you are aware, Few armies can stand against the might of the Imperial fleet. That is all for the terms. To review, you are to ensure our citizens' safety and engage the Empire. Do we have an agreement? All right. Let's fight together as allies. Allies? Such a vote of confidence. Well, you can trust us to do our part and keep the Oracle safe. A final warning, though I doubt it'll come to it. My duty is to my citizens. Should any harm befall them, there will be a reckoning for both King and Oracle. All right, you do what you must for your people. You're just like your father. Thanks. You've made the right decision. Madam, it's time. Assign three of your own for the evacuation effort. Whom you choose is up to you. According to our intel, the Imperial fleet will be four warships strong. Steel yourselves for a full-scale battle. I have confidence you will do well by us, and you can expect the same in return. <laughs> I can't promise something I can't help. Of course. You certainly opened up to them, though. What can I say? I have a soft spot for the young and tragic. 
They've lost Regis. They've lost the crystal. Was it so long ago the last oracle was taken from them? We've seen the Empire go mad these ten odd years. During the rite, we must see to it. The Empire does not harass Leviathan. Gonna be tough to pull off before the King receives her power. And with three of us on evacuation detail. Indeed. The best we can realistically do is to help the Hydrian help herself. What kind of help are you talking about? Just like Titan, the Empire will seek to immobilize Leviathan. Oh, with the harpoon things? If we can dislodge them from the Goddess, she will have a fighting chance. Sounds good in theory, but don't push it. It's pointless, unless you can get that blessing. Stay flexible, stay alert. All right, will do. If worse comes to worse, you can threaten to throw the trident into the sea. Then they'll listen. In the meantime, it will be well guarded. Better than the Oracle herself. Understood. I shall reclaim it at the altar. Remember, you'll be under Imperial Watch. Right. Think of it as a necessary evil in order to forge the Covenant. I am in your debt. Once it's over, you may go as you please. But you do so without our protection. So be it. You'd better get going. Your public is waiting for you. You guys too? Of course. <sighs> Talk about a crowd. Like the whole city's come to watch. Dear friends, I stand before you today with little hope the words I speak shall reach beyond these walls. For slowly but surely, the light fades from our world, and as it does, the shadows shall loom ever longer until all succumbs to the darkness. Darkness that evokes terror hatred and sorrow in the hearts of men. The ashes of Lucis, a dream of peace. 
twisted into a nightmare of death and destruction, claiming innumerable lives and leaving myriad souls to suffer. Luna. Yet I beg you, do not surrender to despair. Have faith, for our gods watch over us. By their blessings, by the stars that light the heavens above, our world will be delivered from the perils of the dark. I stand before you here in Altitia to call upon Leviathan, goddess of the seas, spirit of the deep. By the sacred right, I will commune with the Hydrian. But first, I offer you my solemn vow on my honor as Oracle, I will not rest until the darkness is banished from our world and the light is restored. Bless you all. It is I, Luna Freya, blood of the Oracle. Goddess of the seas, I beseech you, enter into this covenant that the king might reclaim the stone. Yeah. 
you must know. That the King of Kings is to drive the darkness from our star. It is in receiving mercy that men offer praise, and in shedding grace that the gods solicit worship. If I take you down...
prophecy is fulfilled. All in thrall to darkness shall know peace.
Noctis? Uh, uh, Luna? So, you found your way here. And you found me. A chance to see you once more. <laughs> Who would have thought? Well, what do you mean? Why wouldn't you see me? Because my prayers have been answered. My calling fulfilled. But that doesn't have to come between us. You are the one, Noctis. The stars shine for you now. That which is yours by right shall be restored to you. Do you remember the flowers of Tenebrae? It seems so long ago. You'll find they await you still, blooming from hill to vale. Will you be there? Would that I could join you. But this moment will have to be enough. It's not right. All I... All I wanted was to save you. When the world falls down around you and hope is lost. When you find yourself alone amid a lightless place. Look to the distance. Know that I am there. And that I watch over you always. Farewell, dear Noctis. <laughs> Back with us. <clears throat> I'll tell the others. Though it may take a bit. You're hurt. 
a oh, small sacrifice in the greater battle. And Luna? She has passed. Umbra left that for you. So, we're gonna roll through Tenebrae. Not before visiting the royal tomb at Cartanico. Oh, uh, you're sure you're up to that? The wounds have mended. Eyesight's a matter of time. The hell is wrong with you? What? We're not stopping in Tenebrae. You need to grow up and get over it. I am over it. I'm here, aren't I? Maybe when you're not too busy moping, you can look around and give a shit about someone worse off than you. Let go of me. 
How's that ring fit you? You'd rather carry it around than wear it? She gave her life so you could do your duty. Not so you could sit around feeling sorry for yourself. You don't think I know that? You don't! Ignis took one for you, too. And for what? Enough, Gladio. You think you're a king, but you're a coward. Shut up! Don't do this! I... I get it, all right? I get it! Then get a grip. Pull your head out of your ass already. Not! Leave him. there. One step closer to finding the next tomb. Thank you. 